okay good afternoon everyone uh, once again uh, welcome back to uh, the channel today we will discuss a very interesting topic anyhow my name is rajiv and uh, i am fnb manager and uh, presently i am trying to tell you something interesting about the cocktails i'm sure uh, those who are studying those who are doing uh, in hotel management and uh, those who are already in a profession of bartenders you must have been known that every cocktail has uh, some story behind yeah those who has did a uh, bartending uh, official course uh, you know about uh, uh, what are the stories uh, but those who have not uh, uh, went through the bartending they are just from the college or those who are interested to know their stories so that in fnb you can talk uh, something to your guest about any of the cocktail what they are choosing from so this uh, basically uh, the training today is all about cocktails and all about uh, what you can uh, say when you're trying to upsell or when the guest is already ordered a particular cocktail or you want to upsell a cocktail to a guest and uh, who is not really deciding what he wants to have it. So there should be a story which you can say. Not every but he, not all the trainings uh, which you will be conducting or you had attended they will not tell you about the story about the cocktail they might tell you about the ingredients and uh, a lot of things about the cocktail how to make it is it a shaken stirred what are the quantity of uh, the main uh, recipes um, 60 ml 45 ml 10 ml so something like that but today we will discuss uh, more or less about uh, stories yeah so this is quite different because uh, the stories are some things which everyone can know and if you can able to remember it's very nice anyhow this is a session which you can always go through it whenever you want to go to the guest and before you go to the guest just to have a recap if you ever really wants to sail a cocktail and before your shift starts so you can able to do it as well yeah uh, otherwise if you just want to go down and uh, talk to your friends about a cocktail story uh, you want to talk to your girlfriend you want to talk to your boyfriend or you want to talk to any of the guest uh, it's, it's a uh, it's a thing which you can always share with the people and uh, this is a very good thing you should know it okay there must be some contradictory with the stories but i especially found some 10 or 11 cocktails which you can able to talk about and then we can go further if you are looking for some more stories to go ahead all right so let's uh, begin today's training it will take nearly about maybe 25 minutes uh, so that's please do concentrate and uh, we will be able to really uh, you will know there are some twists of the stories all around so you will uh, really i hope you will enjoy it all right let's go ahead so the first one i just took one uh, champagne or sparkling wine based uh, cocktail uh, which is called bellini yeah bellini is quite famous all around the world and uh, it, the story goes something like that yeah so bellini is basically a peach puree and prosecco a wine cocktail or a sparkling wine cocktail yeah so the first thing is uh, Giuseppe uh, Capriani yeah he is the, actually the founder of uh, this cocktail yeah so basically he was the founder of Venice uh, a beloved Harry bar and he was starting mix it it this uh, fruity tipples uh, sometimes like in 1934 or 48 uh, in between that yeah so this pink ring reminded him with the color of saint toga in a painting by italian renaissance artist giovanni bellini yeah so every time he make that drink he think about giovanni bellini so capriani uh, named the concoction for the owner of the painter yeah it's it's a such a great thing to know that uh, Giovanni Bellini was a painter and he was an Italian Renaissance artist. So uh, this thing is uh, dedicated to him. So the Capriani 
is the founder but he named uh, this uh, Bellini for uh, the honor of the painter so it's a, such a nice thing every time you uh, drink about uh, if you drink Bellini you should think about Giovanni so it's a very nice dedicated thing what Capriani has did yeah so it's a uh, cheers to him yeah so let's go ahead with that okay so let's go to Martini we are not talking about vodka martini, we will talk about the classic martini as such. Yeah, so uh, martini is, if you can claim that simply they are claiming the martini is a kind of a drier version of martinis. Yeah, martinis California is the birthplace of the um, cocktail basically. So the California was the Martinez, which has been uh, birthplace. Uh, but and there are other uh, things as well in the story, which is uh, that there is a company, uh, Italian company, you can say a Martini and Rossi, uh, which is uh, basically uh, a very much uh, postulate uh, this drink uh, for this name yeah so they were the one who are exporting the vermouths uh, to us since 19th century so the martini came from them so the martini cocktail also named behind them but that that's not enough there are one more story which is a little bit of uh, uh, twist thing so there is a, a name called Martini the Arma the uh, Tagia, yeah, the bartender. He was a bartender in a New York uh, uh, Knickerbocker hotel, yeah. So, although uh, there is the evidence that the cocktail may have been invented before that, uh, but uh, uh, Martini, his original name is Martini the Arma the Taiga. So that's the founder of in many stories you will find as such. So there are three basically uh, stories behind for this thing. But um, I would say that uh, and everything is right. The martini has been invented and uh, people are enjoying it. Yeah. So nowadays the vodka martini is the other version for that. Yeah. So let's let's go ahead with the uh, third drink of ours. It's a Manhattan. Okay. It's a Manhattan. It's uh, basically a name uh, in uh, it's a city, yeah. So, but uh, let's see how the Manhattan name was been given to this uh, cocktail, yeah. So, it's a blend of basically a whiskey, a sweet vermouth, and some bitter. So, it's another cocktail that scores uh, people's claim to be invented. So, uh, let's see. In the New York bar uh, in 1860s, uh, but there is also some. Uh, tales of its origin so there are people who are saying that in 1860s it has been invented in the new york bar yeah but according to some other legends jenny churchill yeah he he loves to throw a party yeah so but he threw a party in a manhattan club in 1874 uh, he's basically celebrating samuel j tilden victory in the new york's uh, governor's election yeah so you uh, also they termed at that time it's a gubernatorial election so he actually uh, win that election uh, and they have uh, throw that party in Manhattan but the bartender who created the cocktail for the event uh, for the event he actually dubbed the Manhattan name for that cocktail uh, in 1874 for the uh, club's honor he did that thing so this is the uh, name which was came but after that party the two characters has uh, a very long go and they did uh, very big things happens to their life yeah so churchill got a son uh, Whitson, and tilden made a presidential run in 1876 like immediately after two years so uh, from these two events is the manhattan uh, cocktail got so famous and it has been uh, known until now yeah so cheers to manhattan let's uh, go to the other one the care the care or the care royal which is uh, basically uh, the one which we talk about yeah the care is uh, these popular french aperitif is like a prima de casse and white wine and has a long favorite in france but it didn't get its name until the world war ii 
Why in the World War Two? Yeah, because before they were just mixing the cream de glace and the white wine. But what happens in World War Two? So there's a mayor called uh, Kerr, Felix Kerr, and he was in Dijon. Uh, uh, he is the mayor from 1945 to 1968, um, if I'm not mistaken, yes, uh, was a huge fan of cocktails and whenever he was entertaining dignitaries, he just tried to mix and give them something good uh, as, a, as a drink. So he uh, actually served his own drink to them and most of the time is cream the cast and a white wine. So the kid did such a good job pushing the mixture onto the visitor that it's eventually become a uh, linked for to his uh, personality. Yeah, so uh, that's why the cocktail beers his name today is Sal. So he was a very famous personality, and the Kir is the uh, main beverage which we will many uh, in the bars you will find the Kir Royal and the Kir is uh, the same cocktail basically which is quite famous so cheers to that yeah so let's go to the other one uh, Daiquiri now Daiquiri has a good story yeah it's a, as you can see it's a very refreshing drink it's a, it's a mixture of uh, um, rum and sugar so but that's a very uh, thing which uh, uh, basically come from Cuba so if you're an American mine employee stuck working in Cuba, so what you will do? You will drink, yeah, and uh, the rum is the main thing out there. So that's the same thing happened with the engineer. So there is an intrepid engineer, uh, Jenning Cox, yeah, who started creating mixing drinks, yeah, but uh, what he did, the mixture of rum, lime, sugar, supposedly strang of life in 1905, when Cox and some of his fellow Americans were hanging out in the bar in Santiago in Cuba. Yeah, so in 1905, the, they mixed together these handy ingredients. The Americans found it so tasty and that the, they took it to America. Yeah, so that's how the daiquiri was born. Yeah, so in 1905, it's, uh, it's originally made in Cuba but it goes around all the way because of some Americans who taste it and they just took it over and they just uh, make in their own bar. So that's how the daiquiri was invented and still you will find it tastier. Yeah. yeah. So uh, cheers to daiquiri. Okay, let's go to Tom Collins. It's a long drink and uh, this is uh, the origin is based on a hua. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's basically a very different story behind Tom Collins and uh, I would suggest that you should all know it because how the Tom Collins has been invented yeah it's a very very interesting story about that yeah so it's a very refreshing summer ring everybody knows it um, but it owns its name in the 19th century through a uh, hua yeah in 1874 hundreds of New Yorkers heard some bad news while they were out on the town. A certain Tom Collins have been bismarizing their good names. So somebody called Tom Collins, he just is spreading the names for uh, all the people, all the New Yorkers and uh, they are just saying bad things about uh, the New York uh, people out there. So although these people didn't know Tom Collins or Mr. Collins, uh, they uh, were outrated that he would slander them and they often set off to find that person. Yeah, So this is very very uh, thing which they are searching around for him and they were looking for him that who is that person. Of course the root of the hua uh, was that there isn't a really a Tom Collins yeah? but they didn't keep uh, but they didn't keep aggrieved parties uh, from searching him out yeah so then what happens like then the the Tom Collins name was so famous that uh, even in the joke the bartender start making a citrus cocktail and that now bears the name yeah so the story comes out there was a hua happened and then in 1874 this uh, the uh, of course if something is very famous you made out of cocktails out of so the bartenders did the same and so that's the time when the tom collins was 
very very popular and the drink comes out with the citrus cocktail that uh, have the name so when searches asked for tom collins they could instead find a thrust quincy long drink yeah so that's how the tom collins was been invented and uh, we are still enjoying it yeah so it's a very good drink for summers uh, now we have a rainy season going on in india but in uh, in the summers as well as now if you find it heat if you are uh, going to a warm climate tom collins is a very nice drink to have it yeah so please enjoy cheers let's go to cosmopolitan now cosmopolitan as the color suggests it's a uh, basically a uh, ladies drink i would not say so but uh, still uh, most of the ladies like that drink and uh, the pink color is the main thing which makes it different from a different uh, varieties different uh, cocktails as such but the story is it's a it's simple drink yeah it's a simple drink of a kamikaze and a cranberry juice so basically in it's been invented in different places uh, so there is no certain kind of uh, story behind but uh, most of the times uh, the invention happened in uh, late 18th century where in the particular places in america when is this uh, menopolis south beach um san francisco manhattan and of course province town was the places where it actually basically been invented so since the drink is basically just a kamikaze and a simple addition of cranberry juice it's possible that the bartenders of these locations came up with the drink independently so we never know uh, exactly who is the responsible for putting it be, uh, on the face uh, for to your lady's hand as such so it's a uh a very nice drink so anyone can put it in your ladies hand yeah so please do enjoy and uh, let the lady enjoy as well yeah so let's go ahead cheers guys yeah so i am also looking for a drink but let's go it's uh, sazerac all right so sazerac is a kind of drink which uh, everybody it's a very strong drink as such but it's uh, the story behind is little different different as well although it is not the most widely known drink the sazerac is both delicious and one of the america's oldest cocktail yeah so the blend of rye whiskey bitter sugar absinthe is the um, thing which syrup which gives the twist as such which dates way back in 1830s when crowley pharmacist uh it's a, it's a pharmacist yeah so you should remember this thing in 1830s the uh, the pharmacist antonio and uh, it's a fichaud they call it fichaud yeah so antonio fichaud came up with the recipe and began serving it the so sazerac became so popular that the fichaud's drug uh, drug business quickly become better known as the place to get the concoction yeah so it is a uh, uh, sazerac was invented at that time in 1830s but then the kentucky uh, uh, distillery buffalo trace has marketed uh, two very good straight rye whiskey under the name of sazerac and the next year the louisiana house of representatives uh, proclaimed the drink as the official cocktail of new orleans yeah so that's how this thing has been uh, really got came up as such but this starts in 1830s and uh, until now the sazerac is quite been famous as our uh, original recipes as such yeah. so cheers to that and then let's go to negroni negroni is a beautiful drink yeah its uh, colors comes out very nicely the the twist uh, of the lime just is really gives add on to it yeah so uh, there's a person called count camillo negroni yeah so the whole credit goes to him in 1919 yeah he loved the aperitif but uh, there was one uh, uh, cocktail called in that time it's americano which is the campari sweet vermouth and a club soda so he always come to the bar and he always return that drink 
saying that I just want a little extra zinc in my glass. Yeah, it's not enough. It's it's really I really didn't don't feel that I'm drinking something. So he asked the bartender to replace the club soda to gin. So when the gin was being uh, uh, replaced, then the mixture got an additional kick and the Negroni was born. Yeah, so it is Campari sweet vermouth and the gin, which is because of the count. Camillo Negroni is the main person who is behind this cocktail so you should try it and it's a very nice thing to share with your people as such and your friends yeah so let's go to other one black Russian as the drink uh, looks black but unfortunately it is has nothing to do with Russia yeah so uh, the only thing which is connected with Russia is the vodka because it's a vodka based cocktail. Yeah, so the bartender Gustav Tops, Yeah, he is uh, created this drink the whole credit goes to him in 1949 when he was working with Metropole in Brussels So he comes with uh, the first combination of Carlo and vodka and he served to uh, American solicite whose name is Parle Masta. Yeah, so he was the ambassador uh, at Luxembourg at that time. So he is the one who starts serving him, and there he goes famous. So that's how the Black Russian was came, and because of the ambassador who liked it very much, uh, Mr. Ambassador Mesta. So he took it uh, everywhere and the black Russian got famous. So his main ring was black Russian. So that's how the bartender tops. Yeah, Gustava tops. He is the one who created this cocktail and still now the black Russian is one of the strongest and tasteful treats which you can give it to your guest and yourself as well. Yeah, so let's go ahead. Our favorite long and an iced tea. Yeah? The iced tea is the, uh, the one which does not have a tea at all. Yeah, so, so uh, it might be actually containing, not containing tea at all, but at least the Long Island part is the name is accurate. Yeah, so this is spring break favorite is fairly young cocktail only being around for nearly about 32 years. The bartender called Rosebud Butt. Yeah, so he is the main person who actually created this uh, cocktail. He was working in Oak Beach in in uh, Hampton Bay. Yeah, so uh, in 1976 he has invented this cocktail, and until now, if you want to really got drunk, you got got to try Long and an iced tea. It has all the white spirits and. It will give you a kick and whenever you find the people are just uh, uh, strolling around they got intoxicated so I would suggest mr. but is the main responsible person to do that yeah so the Long Island iced tea is a very favorite drink it's a young drink it's a 1976 is the invented and mr. Uh, the bartender rose but but was the responsible person to uh, have this cocktail made by his own hand so all credit goes to him so the long island iced tea is until now very famous and people love to have it and they really enjoy it as such yeah so that's the all thing which i have today and i hope you have enjoyed the stories these stories are really good to share and i would suggest just to keep an eye on these stories on every day Whenever you go and try to sell some cocktails or you want to talk to your friends about the stories about the cocktails. So uh, these uh, classic cocktails are really uh, are good to talk. Yeah, so so that the other person can enjoy it as well along with you. Yeah? So thank you very much for your time and hope we will uh, meet again on our next time and if you find any other kind of cocktail trainings or any kind of trainings please do let me know so that me and our hotel can able to contact you and your organization to able to do a um, sessions online yeah thank you very much and uh, enjoy day bye thanks